Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to be doing a Lean in 15 whole plan review, so the 90 day SSS plan. I finished my plan about a month ago now um, and I did it for the 90 days. Some people extend it a bit depending on what cycle they want to extend. Um, so I'll start off by telling you what it is for those of you who don't know. So the 90 day SSS plan was a food and exercise plan created by Joe Wicks or the body coach and it's basically a three month food exercise plan to get you in shape like the healthy way rather than going on a diet or whatever um, he first started out on Instagram I think and he was just posting quick meals that take 15 minutes hence leading 15 and then I think he just went from there um, I've got all his books and his DVD and everything and I was just interested in the plan because of how it teaches you about the nutrition um, so I wasn't necessarily like bothered about like losing weight or anything but yeah I really enjoyed it so I'll go through each of the cycles and explain what they are I have got other videos on cycle one cycle two and cycle three reviews um so this video is pretty much just going to be a summary of everything so if you've already watched them you may not want to watch this but I may add a few things in that you haven't seen before so cycle one is the weight loss um cycle so this one is designed to lose as much fat as possible. So you're doing one hit session four days a week, or four or five days a week, I think it is. So that is literally, you can go from, I started off at about 20 minutes for my first hit session, and then you work your way up. So I got the DVD for Christmas. So that is um, very helpful, because I think there's six on there, and they start like quite easy, and they work their way up as they go, and they're all different, so it keeps it a bit like more interesting. So I think I was doing four, four days a week of those. And then you're eating two like, low-carb meals a day. So you have, your car you have one carb meal after you've trained, and then the other two meals you have are low-carb and then you have two snacks a day. So the snacks were, th were things like nuts, um, Greek yogurt, jer beef jerky things, but I tend to just stuck to the nuts and the fruit and things like that. He tells you to only have one piece, like one fruit a day as your snack, so if, you, if you're using it as two, that's wrong. Um, so I, I think I was having nuts and fruit most days or Greek yogurt with berries or something. And you get on the cycle one set meals, so you get a section that's low carb meals and a section that's like your tra after training meals and you have to stick to those in cycle one so you can't go off plan but they're all really nice and you get a really big variety i think a lot of people get different ones so i won't go through which ones i got but i enjoyed all of them i didn't i didn't try all of them because i tried i tried to like use the meals that would have like the similar ingredients i wasn't buying like loads of different ingredients throughout the week so yeah, I think I tried. There was I've tried quite a lot of them, but there was a few, a few where it was like my favourite ones. So I'd always go back to them because it's only four weeks. You're not necessarily bothered. You won't get bored. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed cycle one. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily out to lose weight, but I did lose some weight. And when I first started out with the workouts, they were quite tough because, like before I did this, I used to go to the gym anyway, and I could run for quite a while, but doing a 15 minute hit workout makes you so exhausted. You can proper tell that it works. And it seems ridiculous because you're only like exercising for 30 seconds and then you're resting for 30 seconds, but it really does like make a difference. And I didn't necessarily see like massive results after my cycle one, but I think I lost about three or four pounds in the first one. And after each cycle, you have to submit your measurements and your pictures. So once you've submitted those, it's usually about a three or four day period in between you get in your next cycle. So I do like my 30 days of cycle one and then I carry on doing that in between. I think some people have a bit of a rest from it all in between, but I just carried on. Um, I think it did take about three or four days for that one. So cycle two was the uh, muscle building cycle. So you on that one you have carbs for every meal on your training days. Oh, yeah, I've got to say on cycle one, on your rest days, you don't have any carbs. You just have three low-carb meals. So on cycle two, on your rest days, you'll have three low-carb meals. On your training days, you have three high-carb meals. And on this one, it was a bit different. So you get the food is a pick-and-mix style. So you'll get 
your like separate sections so your rest days so your low carb meals you get to pick you have to pick from a meat well a protein source it could be eggs as well a green vegetable and then you get another section of like vegetables where you pick like two and that makes one portion um and a fat source so cheese um butter whatever and then you get a sauce to go with it as well so i used to have like cottage cheese quite a bit and then on your training after your training so your high carb meals you instead of having to pick from a fat source you'd pick from a carb source and you get like everyone gets different measurements of how much they can have of each thing so again i won't go into that i think it depends on you because they tailor it to you so i enjoyed that cycle quite a bit because i do really like carbs <laughs> so i was having things like bagels with like meat deli meat for breakfast and then lunch i'd usually have like chili with pasta or chili with rice or turkey mince with things like that and then and you can have sandwiches which is quite nice and then dinner again something similar to that um a lot of people say they get bloated in cycle two because of how much carbs they're having but i didn't i think i used to eat quite a lot of carbs anyway so it didn't really affect me but i really enjoyed that i know a lot of people just want to get off that cycle but i would have stayed there forever and then you have your snacks a bit different in cycle two. So you have your training day snacks and your rest day snacks. And I think it's again because they're a bit more high carby and high protein. And in cycle two as well, you're meant to keep up your protein um, like constantly. So even on your rest days, you're having a lot of protein. And I didn't. I don't think I bought protein powder until cycle two because I just never got around to it. So I bought. I used to have those because you can have that as an extra snack on a training day. So you can have two snacks and a protein shake. So I'd have that after a train and then two snacks. The exercise is slightly different as well. So you have to do, you still have to do a HIIT workout, but it's dropped to, so you do a, like a muscle toning um, exercise, which they give you in the plan. So they'll tell you, you get, you get exercise four days a week. You do triceps and biceps. Um, shoulders, chest and back, and legs and glutes. So you'll get given two separate um, weight exercises per day, and then you do a hit. So I would be doing weights for 15 minutes, then a hit for 10 minutes, then another separate like weights for 10 minutes, and then another hit for 15 minutes. So it is a bit longer. I think that was a bit of a downside for me because I got used to just doing 20 minutes a day, and then it went up to like an hour. So I was a bit like, ah, but. You can tell the difference because I've never used weights before either. So this is the first time I've ever actually used anything like that. Um, I just I asked my coach which ones to get, so I just got some eighteen pound ones off eBay, which have worked really well, and I'm still using them now. So I'll link those below. Considering how cheap they were, because I was looking around before, and some of them were like fifty quid for just one set. So I didn't want those. So they're really good. I recommend those and you can check the they're adjustable as well so you can be adding bits on as you get stronger end of cycle two I could see a, a bigger difference especially around my bum and my legs because I'd lost more weight I think I'd got down to about well I'd lost probably about six pounds six seven pounds by this stage and I've gained muscle as well my arms came on quite a bit in cycle two and I could finally do a full push-up which I could never do before so I was proud of that um, and again I um, sent off my cycle two and I think it was in two days I had my cycle three um, so pretty quick so cycle three is the last one and that's the sustained cycle so in this one the food you do pick and mix and you get a set meal so you, split, you can just pick from both do what you want um, the pick and mix is similar to cycle two but the only difference is the snacks are the same across also, you just have the same snacks for rest days and training days. I did tend to stick to more pick and mix style in cycle three just because I was used to it. There was the odd meal that I used from my set meals, but I was just so used to doing the pick and mix. So, And then the exercise with the weights and the hits still, but you do um, pyramid resistance training in these with the weights. So you start off by doing 50 reps of something on a low weight, and then you do 40, 30, 20, and 10, and as you move down, you you make the weight the weight heavier and with leg day you also have abs in there as well so you do 
your leg exercise with the weights and then you do abs and you'd alternate and then you do a hit and the the hits go down to eight minutes on cycle three so do your weights eight minute hit more weights eight minute hit so it's probably a bit longer doing the weights but the hits are a bit shorter so you do still do about the same amount of time on that and I really I really like that you've got to do more ab workouts in cycle three because as much as like it probably was doing it in the other cycles it's not it doesn't really feel like you are if you know what I mean so it was nice to be able to do more sit-ups and things like that okay so I'm just going to go through the pros and cons of the plan so I like the fact that it was only three months because a lot of people I know who do like slimming world and things spend so long on it and I feel like you get quicker results doing this. I don't know if it's because you're exercising so much and the hits are like so good for you, but I feel I've noticed a massive difference in only three months. It is hard work in the three months, but it's only three months. And if you look at some people's transformations, it's crazy. The other thing is, it is only three months, but if you wanted to extend one of the cycles by a week or two weeks, you can, because you won't get sent through your other cycles until you've submitted your results for the first one. So, it's as and when you want. If you want to do six weeks on the weight loss cycle, then go ahead and do it, they don't mind. I liked that you got food knowledge from it as well. So they teach you how to eat properly and you can't, you'd have to cut like things out like avocados or anything because it's good for you. Obviously you can't eat like chocolate and things on the plan, but <laughs> you know what I mean? It teaches you like the nutrition side of it as well. I liked it that because it got me into a routine of exercising. So because you get so used to doing four times a week, now I've stopped it. I still do that, so that's good. I did all of mine at home, so you don't need a gym membership. Like I said, I bought my weights. Um, that was eighteen pound, which isn't very much compared to a gym membership. And I just did it all at home. I didn't go to the gym once, and I also travelled in that time as well. I went to my sister's in Cornwall, and I took my weights with me and carried on there. So obviously if you're going abroad, you're probably not going to want to do that. But if you're going to like a friend's house or something, or you're going away for a week in England, you can still do it. So that was a pro. So cons, um, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a con for a lot of people, but if you've done things like Slimming World or Weight Watchers before, where you can eat chocolate and sweets and whatever and just count them as points, you can't do that on this. I mean, there is the odd time where I ate chocolate and had bad food, but you can't do it every day and count it towards your weight loss because that's not it so the snacks and things are like nuts and fruit and greek yogurt not chocolate or things like that so i'd say that's the only con um i like chocolate quite a bit as well so i did draw quite a lot and there was the odd day where i ate chocolate like quite a bit uh, but i know people that stick to it down to a t so if you're quite willpowered then that's good but if you think that you need to have things like that then you may struggle but I liked it because like my one of my biggest things is cheese and I love cheese and you can have cheese on this because it just counts as a good fat source so that was a winner um, but other than that I don't really think there is anything for me and um, there may have been the odd thing like because I'd never done weights before I wasn't really sure if I was doing it properly you get like videos sent on how to do it but it's not the same as being like taught how to do it so but that's my own fault for not knowing how to do weights really I suppose <laughs> Okay, so some tips from me since doing the plan. So on the pick and mix things, I think you should try and be quite creative with what meals you're doing. So I know there was the odd like few days where I'd always have the same thing because it's just easy and you know what you're doing, but it, get, it does get a bit boring after a while. So I was trying to come up with some meals where it was a bit different. Even things like using cauliflower rice, um, because like I said, I really enjoy carbs and not having it sometimes is a bit of a struggle. But when you've got like cauliflower rice and things like that does make it feel a bit better and I was doing things like uh, tortilla wrap pizzas which quite nice and it makes you feel like you are still eating bad food when you're not on the hit sessions I think you should vary them so in the first cycle when you're doing them all the time I had the DVD like I said and it got to the point where because I was doing the DVD all the time it was a bit like oh I'm bored of this now because I knew what was going to come next so I got to the stage where I was making my own like I was just writing down my own hit sessions and just doing them. Um, I know a lot of people just go to the gym and do like a hit on the treadmill or something, but if you like doing that, then that's fine. Um, prep, prep, prep. It does tell you to be like prep queen in the plan. And there was the odd day where I didn't have anything prepped and you do just go for the bad things instantly. Especially if it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and you know you've not got any lunch made and you can't really be bothered. 
so try and prep as much as possible even things like I used to buy broccoli cook the whole thing and then keep it in the fridge cooked so I could just grab it and stick it in the microwave when I needed it and even things like that really help so I started my plan in the first week of January which I liked because it was like dark in the evenings and I wasn't really going to be doing much anyway by the time it's so it's like May now and it's sunny outside and it's been the odd day where I've got back from work now and it's really sunny outside and I just want to go outside I, I know for a fact I wouldn't have wanted to do a HIIT workout because I'm running now so I can just go outside for a run but I, I would not have wanted to stay inside and do weights on a hot day like that so for me I'm glad I did it in winter rather than summer so I don't I don't know people might be different people might just go and do a HIIT session outside but it's not for me join Instagram and follow as many people as possible there's so many 90 day plan counts on there and people put all their food on and all the different ideas and it's it's really good motivation and like getting ideas from people as well so some people are so creative with the pick and mix thing and you're like oh yeah I didn't think about doing that and I saw one where someone had um, made a protein shake and then put it in the freezer and it was like hard chocolate type, type thing so that's a good idea I haven't tried it yet but I will ask as many questions to your coach as possible because there were so many things I was confused on especially from transitioning to cycles you're so used to the first one when I transitioned from cycle one to cycle two I remember like reading through the plan and I was literally like what I was so confused <laughs> I sat there for so long like literally don't know what I'm doing but I just ask like loads of questions and they're really helpful and they come back to you really quick as well so don't be scared because that is what they're there for really, like you've paid your money so you must well make the most of it. So my final results, I'm not sure if I'm going to show my pictures but um, I can definitely tell I'm more toned around my abs and my bum and legs have shrunk and they're more lifted so I'm really happy with that. My arms and shoulders are loads more toned than they were before. I literally had no muscles before starting this and now there's something there so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> So after my plan now, I'm training for a half marathon, so I'm still kind of sticking to the food that I was in cycle three, so I'm having a carb meal after I've ran. But I know you can, there is a plan you can do after you finish the 90 day plan. That's I think you pay for it monthly, and they send you new meals and new exercises every month, but you can only do that once you've done the 90 day plan. But I think it's like 17 pound a month or something, so I imagine a lot of people would do that, but now I've kind of got the knowledge of it a bit more, I don't really feel like I need to. If you have any questions or anything I haven't said or is unclear, please feel free to ask because I will answer anything. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.